Okay, um, today we're going to do a dual boot with Windows 7 and Linux Mint. I'm using uh, Mint Mate here. Okay, so as you can see, we've got two boot. Uh, we've got two disks, and we're going to install onto the second disk. Um, we're going to install uh, using. Uh, we're not going to interfere with uh, the the MBR of the Windows disk. So click continue here. Continue again. It's just asking us are we going to space and are we connected to the internet? It's asking us to uh, unmount used disks. As you can see, the two disks disappear when we do that. That allows them to be written to if we want to. Okay, so as you can see, we can install alongside Windows 7. We can replace Windows 7, or we can do something else. And we're going to do something else. Okay, so we go over and we click Continue. As you can see, here we've got SDA, the two partitions. We've got uh, Windows Boot Partition and we've got the Windows Partition itself. Then we've got uh, SDB, which is our second disk. And in, on the second disk, we've got one partition. Now remember, uh, you need to back up everything because this clicking on New Partition will destroy everything or will wipe everything on that one disk. So click Continue. If we go back to here on the SDB, we have no free space. SDB second disk is empty. Click plus, and we're going to add a partition. It's a primary partition at the beginning of the space. And we're going to make it our root partition. This is where our operating system goes. We're not going to click OK yet. We're going to change the size of the partition. Now, obviously, your partition sizes will be completely different to mine. I'm using this on a very small disk, uh, where your disk would be quite different from mine. So, as I said, partition sizes will change for you. So, I'm going to do an 8 gigabyte partition for root. Click OK. And then you can see SDB, and we've got the one partition. And we've still got free space. Click into free space. Click plus again. This time it's going to be a logical partition, and I'm going to put it. Um, I'm going to change the size, and I'm going to put a two gigabyte partition at the end of the space. This time I'm going to click into Use As, and I'm going to go down to Swap Area. So this is going to move my swap partition. Click OK. And if we click on SDB, we can see we've got the blue partition, which is root, and the yellow partition, which is swap. And we've got free space in between. Click plus. Uh, again, this is going to be that size, but whatever it is on yours. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to change this. This is going to stay as ext4, but I'm going to change this to slash home. And this is going to be our home partition. Click OK. Now then, what else do we need to do? Uh, you can see we've got three partitions. One, that's our root partition, our home partition, and of course swap. Now we need to uh, add where we want our bootloader to go. And we don't want to put it on the first disk, we want to put it on a second disk, and we want to put it on SDB1, that's where our root partition is. Yeah? SDB1, our root partition, click install now. Okay, so the install continues. Where are we to? What keyboard do we want? And then we just fill in some details. So you're going to put in your name. So my name is USB Tux. 
Uh, I'm going to say uh, that this is a duo, mint 15. Now you put in whatever you want, as long as it describes what it is. Um, then we go to the password, put your password in. So, of course, you need to put uh, something half decent in. So, you can put in uh, capital letters, lowercase letters, numbers. Okay, make sure they match. I can get login automatically, I can get to require my password, or I can encrypt my home folder. Or, I don't want to log in automatically, I want it to require my password, and I don't want to encrypt my home folder. Okay, click continue. And then it'll start to install the system. Uh, I'm going to shorten it here, so we come back. My system's nearly complete. And here yeah, it is complete. So we're going to click restart now. Mint will finish and reboot the computer and we'll boot into Windows.